The Belgian Malinois and the Dutch Shepherd are both highly intelligent and trainable dogs. Picking the right herding dog buddy from these two can be a bit tricky. In this video, we're going to comparing and contrasting Dutch Shepherd and Belgian Malinois. Our goal is to help you figure out which one might be the best choice for you. Let's dive in and find out which dog could be your perfect match. At first, appearance. Let's talk looks. The Belgian Malinois rocks a stylish double coat with a fancy mahogany color and black-tipped hairs that give it a cool pattern. The black mask, ears, and neck add to its charm, but the rest of its body has a slightly longer coat. Now, the Dutch Shepherds are the brindle champs, with cool gold or silver patterns that sometimes have white and black bits. Even though they're called yellow brindle by the experts, these Shepherds come in three coat types. There's the short-haired one, with a bushy tail and breeches, then there's the long-haired kind with woolly undercoats, and the rough-haired ones with a thick coat all over. Next, history. The Belgian Malinois originated in Belgium in the late 1800s as a variety of Belgian sheepdogs. The Dutch Shepherd was originally a shepherd's working dog, performing tasks like herding, pulling carts, and guarding farms. Over time, the Dutch Shepherd faced challenges due to modern farming techniques, but efforts continue to keep the breed alive. Next, purpose and versatility. Belgian Malinois are sought after for their intensity, intelligence, and suitability for specialized roles like police and search and rescue work. Dutch Shepherds exhibit remarkable versatility, excelling in herding, guarding, and police tasks, making them adaptable working dogs. Next, size. How big are they, you ask? Well, Belgian Malinois dudes grow to around 24 to 26 inches tall and weigh 55 to 75 pounds. The ladies are a bit smaller, weighing 40 to 60 pounds and standing about 22 to 24 inches tall. The Dutch Shepherds, on the other paw, hit the scales at 50 to 70 pounds, and the guys are 21 to 26 inches tall, while the gals are around 20 to 25 inches. Next, lifespan. Talking about how long they hang out with us, Belgian Malinois stick around for about 12 to 14 years. Dutch Shepherds aren't far behind, living from 11 to 14 years. By the time they're two years old, they're pretty much all grown up, and by three years old, they've got their smarts in order. Next, shedding and grooming. Now let's chat about shedding and taking care of them. Belgian Malinois drop their fur twice a year, especially in spring and fall. So, giving them a good brush once or twice a week helps keep the fur tumbleweeds in check. Don't forget nail trims and baths when they're all dirty. Dutch Shepherds also shed, and sometimes they go through a phase called blowing coat, where it seems like they're turning into fur clouds. No matter what type of coat they have, brushing is a must, especially when they're shedding. Next, temperament. Time to talk about how they act. Belgian Malinois are like the cool kids with their confidence and strong body. They're not mean, but they can get a bit territorial and protective of their peeps. This makes them super watchdogs. Dutch Shepherds are also good at watching out for their humans, but they can get a little tricky if they're not friends with other dogs from a young age. Next, intelligence. Now, let's see who's the brainy bunch. Belgian Malinois are top-notch when it comes to smarts and doing what they're told. They need their brains to stay busy, and they're great at jobs like searching for stuff or helping out the older folks. Dutch Shepherds are pretty clever too, even though we don't have an exact number for their smarts. But they're champs at being good listeners and following instructions, making them great for all sorts of jobs. Next, agility. Who's the king of cool moves? Belgian Malinois win the agility contest? They're super smart and can read even the smallest signals. Dutch Shepherds aren't far behind with lots of energy and stamina for activities like running, searching, herding, and even weight pulling. Next, trainability. Let's talk about how easy it is to teach them stuff. Belgian Malinois are like, sign me up for class. They're motivated to learn and can start with 10-minute lessons as pups, working up to hour-long sessions when they're older. Dutch Shepherds are also pretty clever cookies especially when it comes to jobs like being in the police or helping in emergencies. They're great at learning the ropes and following instructions. Next, exercise. How much exercise do they need? Belgian Malinois are like the energy machines that need lots of outdoor time every day. They're not for couch potatoes. 
Dutch shepherds are similar, needing long walks and fun play sessions every day. Running around is their thing, so keeping them busy keeps them happy. Next family. Are they good for families? Belgian Malinois might be a bit too intense for homes with little kids or other pets. They're really serious about their jobs and might get overly protective. Dutch Shepherds are more easygoing, especially with kids and other furry friends. They're all about making their families happy. Next, apartment living. Can they handle apartment life? Both Belgian Malinois and Dutch Shepherds can adapt to apartments, but here's the catch. They need lots of outdoor time. Having a yard where they can stretch their legs is like giving them a playground. Next, separation anxiety. Dealing with being alone, both breeds can get a bit lonely. Belgian Malinois shouldn't be by themselves for more than four hours. It's all about training them to be okay with some alone time. Dutch Shepherds also get a little anxious without their people around. They're best suited for families or folks who can keep them company. Next, personality. Belgian Malinois dogs are full of confidence and have a protective nature. They really love their families and show a lot of affection. On the other hand, Dutch Shepherds are really smart and can do lots of different things really well. They're great at tasks like herding animals. Belgian Malinois dogs tend to be really loyal to their owners. They like to keep a close watch on things and can be protective when they sense any danger. Dutch Shepherds, on the other hand, have a long history of being all-rounders. They were originally used for herding livestock and even pulling carts. Next, pet compatibility. When it comes to getting along with other animals, both Belgian Malinois and Dutch Shepherds can be a bit sensitive. This means that if they're not used to being around different animals from a young age, they might get a bit cranky and even aggressive. Research has shown that dogs, including Belgian Malinois and Dutch Shepherds, are more likely to feel relaxed and friendly around other animals if they have been introduced to them when they're still puppies. Just like kids making new friends, dogs need to get to know other animals to feel comfortable with them. And last one, health issues. Let's talk health stuff. Belgian Malinois usually do pretty well, but they might have some hip, elbow, or eye issues. Dutch Shepherds have their own health things to watch out for like thyroid checks for long-haired ones and hip checks for the rough-haired ones. And remember, being aware of potential health issues and staying in touch with a vet can make sure your Belgian Malinois or Dutch Shepherd lives a happy and healthy life. So what's the bottom line? Belgian Malinois and Dutch Shepherds are awesome, but they're different. Belgian Malinois are all about intensity and smart thinking, while Dutch Shepherds can do lots of jobs and are great pals. To pick the right one, think about how they look their size, and how long they'll be around. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to explore the extraordinary world of dogs with us.